Hello everybody. We will see the other graphical method that we mentioned in the previous video how we can do this. So to to know how to do this we will um, draw uh, an XY diagram like the McKeithley for the solution uh, diagram that we are very very familiar with. So we will draw one diagram uh, like this uh, underneath the uh, the ternary diagram that we use. So what we are going to do is to express all the um, tie lines and the operating lines as two, uh, just two operating li uh, two lines, one operating line and one equilibrium curve. So, uh, and then we will do these stages using the the stair method that we used in the installation before. So it's going to be way easier than calculating the stages uh, using this uh, this uh, diagram. Uh, so the only trick that we want to uh, know how we will we will do is to know how we will express this uh, upper equilibrium curves or equilibrium points, the tie lines, on the XY diagram, and how are we gonna do or put the operating lines on the XY diagram? So first, the XY diagram is um, the Y is the mole fraction or the mass fraction of the um, solute in the X tract, uh, which is how much the solvent take. And the X represents the mole fraction or the mass fraction of the solute in the raffinate, which is the stream that I want to purify. Um, so each each one of these uh, or, or any point here on the XY diagram should be expressed by uh, or, or should have two coordinates, X coordinate and Y coordinates, like any other um, point on any XY diagram that should have two coordinates. So the X represents a point on the raffinate, which is going to be a point here in most of the cases so the x of this point is going to be the x here on the diagram so I, I will not change anything about the x here however this should be read on this axis the point that that uh, is expressed by percent a here should be expressed on this axis not on this axis so we need to find a way to put this point that's read on this diagram here to be expressed on uh, or on this axis here to be expressed on the perpendicular axis here and to do this we will simply go down and then and the xy diagram move it to the right so this is uh, flipping this from being read on the x axis to be read on the y axis and this line would be expressed in one point on the diagram so it has an x and y this has an x and and y so each two um, sides of the of the tie line would be expressed by or will, will represented by one uh, one point on the xy diagram so let's see i will start with this tie line i know that the x is the same so i'll go down uh, without changing anything the y would go down and will reflect the xy diagram and will intersect the x line at one point so this is a point that lies on the equilibrium curve another one for the second tie line i will go down here and then the same for the the extract point and then we will get this point here i will repeat the same thing for all the lines uh, the tie lines that i have so i have five tie lines and then i'll get five or, or six tie lines so i'll get six points on the equilibrium curve and then i will connect this line together and what i'm gonna get is the equilibrium curve um, just please note that I, I use three lines to express or, or to, to draw the, each point here. So one, two, three. So for each point, I will put three lines. And I have now six tie lines, so I'll have 18 lines to just put the lines on the, or, or to get the points and draw the equilibrium curve. So if you're drawing this by hand, please do your best to draw the lines as... Uh, very very simple lines very um, uh, um, narrow lines as you can don't don't uh, don't do the, like very heavy heavy drawings for for these lines the the aim of these lines is just to get this point so make them simple as much as you can um, so this is how we get the equilibrium curve the same will be for the operating line for the operating line I know that this how the operating lines look like I have uh, this this is a ver, ver, the, the first operating line this is the last operating lines and they intersect at the point O so the same here I have this is the starting point and this is the ending point of the operating line um, this represents the X and this is represents the Y so I will do the same thing X goes down Y reflects on the 45 degrees line the same here X goes down Y uh, reflects on the line but this is uh, because it's a pure solvent it it is going down 
um, on the y-axis so it's reflecting at the point 0 and 0 and then it's going here so it's going to be on the on the x-axis actually uh, you can put more points on the operating lines and you do not really need to know exactly if this is a, a, a real operating line or not uh, you you just w want to draw this this operating line at the bottom so you know the operating line and the ternary diagram passes by point O and the point on the extract and point on the raffinate so you, you'll draw any random line uh, as long as it's in between these two um, lines and it passes by point O and then it cuts here at point uh, Y and X you get this Y and X and this is one more point on the operating line you can you can do more if you want to get more uh, uh, more accurate uh, points or get more points to get more accurate line however I would just here stop or use only three three points uh, just to know, make it as, as a little simpler than it is uh, more complicated anyway so um, uh, so now we were we are done we have now the operating line and we have the, uh, the equilibrium curves and now uh, what we're gonna do is to use this line and we are not using the the ternary diagram anymore. So this is exactly what we do in distillation for distillation You have the operating line beneath the equilibrium curve and we calculate the number of stages or, or, or count the number of stages by drawing the stairs So this is what I'm gonna do. This is the first this is the second this is the third and this is like a fraction of a stage so now this is one two three and almost half or uh, two-thirds of, of a stage um, and this is exactly what we did when we used the 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 three component uh, phase diagram uh, we had one two three and a fraction so um, both are giving the same results um, I personally see that this is easier um, than than the other one um, but but both are both are right ways to to do the um, the calculation of the number of stages. So now I'll stop here. At, uh, in the next video, we'll start seeing how to do this on Microsoft Excel. So I'll see you in the next time, and goodbye.